हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल नेताजी टैली एजुकेशन सेंटर फ्रेंड्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल विदाउट फेल फ्रेंड्स प्लीज क्लिक ऑन बेल बेलाइकन टू गेट मोर नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस ओके फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज हाउ टू मैप एंड इम्पोर्ट परचेज ट्रांजेक्शन फ्रॉम एक्सेल शीट टू टैली प्राइम रिगार्डिंग दिस टूडे वी विल डिस्कस ओके फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स सी ए डिस्प्ले स्टेटमेंट ऑफ अकाउंट्स गो टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स सी ए आई डिंट एंटर एनी ट्रांजेक्शन बिफोर मेकिंग वीडियो सो ऑल द वोचर टाइप शोइंग जीरो एंट्रीज ओके zero entries see here last date of last entry it is showing 6 april 24 you need not worry about this because i have made practices a lot of times so that's why it is showing that date okay see once again you check it in statistics see nothing purchase entries see it is showing zero nothing okay so we move to map press alt o manage select mapping templates select transaction create okay so specify folder path so my folder is in d drive so my folder name is excel mapping templates so in that my file name is accounting master okay so worksheet name is purchase transaction see here this is the purchase transaction this is worksheet name so i entered each and every information in this excel sheet friends suppose you want this excel sheet i will drop link in description box you you go and download and make it practice okay okay so select purchase transaction give mapping template file name so i will give the name purchase transactions mapping so this is my mapping file name select accounting voucher payment receipt etc see voucher type name <coughs> select voucher type name voucher date Select voucher date, voucher number. Select voucher number. Select reference number. Select reference number, <coughs> and change mode. Whether it is voucher mode or invoice mode. So change mode. Select change mode. Okay, friends. Some options are hidden. if you want open all the options you do one thing select show more and select expand all and press enter okay so select buyer details what is buyer details this is a uh, buyer supplier address gst number country pin code these are all okay so select buyer supplier address select address select address buyer supplier state select state here also state so next pin code select pin code next buyer supplier country sorry so buyer supplier country so next buyer supplier registration type so here also select buyer supplier registration type next gst number so buyer supplier gst in select gst in here also So next, GST place of supply. 
GST place of supply select GST place of supply okay so all general information is wow so next move to ledger see friend select top ledger so in purchase voucher top ledger is supplier name okay select ledger name select supplier name next ledger amount select invoice amount total amount including gst next ledger amount drcr select specify fixed field value so here you have to select credit because party ledger goes to credit so next press one more enter now you select bottom ledger in bottom ledger you need to select purchase bottom ledger so ledger name specify fixed field value select purchase ledger purchase ledger so uh, ledger amount purchase amount select purchase amount so ledger amount crdr so purchase entry debit entry so you have to select specify fixed field value select debit okay so now after selecting uh, selecting uh, this thing uh, purchase ledger next item so item name select item name so here also item name billed quantity select quantity item rate select item rate next item amount item amount select item amount so all items wow so next select tax ledger input cgst and input sgst so press one more enter select bottom ledger select ledger name here select specify fixed value so select input cgst input cgst next ledger amount here select cgst so next ledger amount crdr select specify fixed field value so this is debit entry okay so press one more enter select one more time bottom ledger because second ledger input is gst ledger name select specify fixed field value select input is gst <coughs> so ledger amount select yes gst ledger amount crdr select specify fixed field value select debit dr okay so finish now you select bill allocation details that is bill type of reference bill type of reference select bill type of reference next bill name bill name so here also bill name next bill amount select bill amount bill amount crdr select bill amount crdr here also bill amount crdr okay friends so mapping as wow save it enter 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 i accept it so now we move to import press alt work select transactions enter enter so file to import purchase transaction so mapping template name is 
purchase transaction mapping you need to select this one yes backup company data if you want set it yes otherwise set it no see 18 entries are there so now click on import or press i import completed successfully check it display more reports day book alt f2 change the period see this is one month entries 18 entries are there so check it whether import properly or not see here supplier invoice number supplier name see supplier details all the mailing details are mapped see now purchase see here So input CGST, input SGST. So each and every information is mapped and imported. Okay, see all the bill allocation detail also imported successfully. Okay, friends. Now you understand how to import purchase transaction. Okay, friends. Friends, in my next video, uh, I will show how to. map and import sales transaction okay friends thank you for watching my videos